Every summer I set goals for the cross country season and the track season, they were about to come up uh, in the next year of running. And this summer I set some pretty crazy goals. I wanted to win Nike Nationals as a junior, which is only done once before by Casey Klinger. I wanted to set a couple of course records. I wanted to go to track and I wanted to go sub 840 in the two mile, which has very rarely been done by juniors if it ever has been done. And I also wanted to go sub four in the mile and become one of the first juniors to ever do that in the United States history. And I was super excited about these, these things. I was pumped about it. And then right after I set these goals, I first figured out that I was uneligible to run to high school. I had to set out a full year of track and, and cross country for varsity. And uh, I had to do that because I had supposedly transferred athletically when my motives of transferring had nothing to do with that. So that was the first big thing. And then uh, going through cross country season was incredible. I started to mesh really well with the team. I had just gone to a new school. And then um, come October after, after one of my best races, I was probably in the best shape of my life. And I'd just been working my butt off. I was determined to go win the Nike Cross National meet in December. And I really felt like I could do it and I was in good enough shape. And then come November, or come October, I started to get super nauseous, and uh, I was nauseous all throughout October, all throughout November, all throughout December, all throughout January, and I'm into February as well. And it was just a super big challenge for me because not only was my running affected, like it was really hard to train. I had to take two weeks off of running right before we're getting close to the national meet, and um, I felt horrible. And even just going to school and like trying to get through my day in classes was just awful and life just wasn't really the same, not being able to feel healthy and good and it just was really, really mentally taxing to me to just feel like I was about to throw up for just months without end and I didn't, and I went to um, a whole bunch of different doctors who had no idea what was wrong with me and I just got so sick of hearing doctors tell me that they didn't know and that like, I just wasn't feeling like I was ever going to get better. And then after that, I hurt my back and I figured out I was going to have to sit out for six weeks after the cross country season. And it was just, that was devastating for me. I couldn't sleep at night because my back hurt so bad. And come track season, I get my tonsils out. One of the hardest two weeks of my life in terms of physical pain. And right when I'm back from that, I'm about ready to go from to, to track. And I'm super glad that my nausea is all figured out. I've been resting for my back, so that's figured out. And then all of a sudden my IT band flares up and I go for a couple months without being able to run at all because of the super tight IT band. And then from, from there I go to a bunch of different PT guys and, and some different chiropractors and uh, dry needling and all these different things and none of them worked, none of them have worked at all and it sucked. And you look at my life over like the past six or seven months and obviously so many people have it worse than I do. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for all the things that I, that I do have but just looking like at that. I'm nowhere near any of the goals that I set for myself. Absolutely none of the goals I set for myself have really been able to come true in terms of running. But you know, I'm, I'm happy to be able to, to sit here and tell you guys, I don't know if there's been very many times in my life where I've ever been happier. And that's why I wanted to make this video because I want to talk to you guys about how to be happy when it comes to adversity. Everybody has sucky things that happen to you, to them in their life. It just really has not been ideal at all. It hasn't been what I visualized, it hasn't been the goals that I've been writing down and I've been uh, just looking forward to and dreaming to do. Um, and you know, everyone tells you to look for the good in your challenges and then like look what they're supposed to do. And, and I'll be honest, I don't know why I've had all these health problems and in the past a little bit. I don't know really why I'm meant to have those challenges. I don't know if it's supposed to be so I can be making this video for you guys to help inspire you guys or if it's meant to just make me stronger. I really don't know what it is and all that matters to me is that it was meant to happen. I wasn't really meant to be able to run track this season and I have meant to kind of go through this trial and learn some things and I really have been incredibly happy and I want to tell you guys how I've been able to do that. The first big thing is I've kept a really big focus on relationships. Throughout all of it, I've been able to spend more time like getting to know the people around me and, um, and not being able to run has allowed me an opportunity to spend more time getting to know more people at Corner Canyon, my new high school, and, and keeping in, uh, in touch with the Colorado kids and uh, getting closer with my family, my brother-in-laws, and looking for ways that I can support them 
That's been a really big part of my happiness and what's made me happy is I've been able to surround myself with a lot of incredible people who support me and that I've been able to support and uh, hopefully help as well. And so I think relationships has been the biggest thing for me. Another huge thing, like absolutely massive for me, is taking things as they happen and being happy with those things and being content with the things that are happening as they happen, not how I want them to happen. Or if I was expecting and reacting to how I wanted my life to happen, my life would suck right now. I would not be happy at all, but I am happy. And I think the reason I've been able to do that is because I've said, shoot, I can't run, okay, I'll play soccer. And I've loved playing soccer. I've been playing lots of soccer and basketball and, and biking and uh, playing pickleball and spike ball. And I've loved doing those things. And I've gotten to meet a lot of cool people from doing that. You just have to try your best and you take what comes at you and you just do your best. The third one, as cliche as it is, is just being grateful for what I do have, like recognizing that I am really, really lucky to have a lot of the relationships in my life that I do, um, and recognizing that I get to go to a school where there's awesome teachers and awesome kids, and there's a lot of things in my life that are going well, despite all the things that have been a really big bummer for me. And I think that throughout life, you have to learn how to be happy through those tough times. And I'm really, really grateful I can learn that lesson right now. And I gotta tell you, I'm so excited for next cross country, cross country season. Um, I really hope I'll be able to be healthy by then. Um, I'd be a little bummed if I'm not. I'm planning on uh, trying a couple more things, maybe um, a little bit more devout with dry needling and massage therapy and then trying a couple like stretching and exercise things. I don't wanna try that for about uh, another two weeks. And then I'm really looking at getting surgery and um, and then the surgery has a 90% success rate for my IT band, so I should be running after that. But I uh, really appreciate you guys watching the video. And um, it's a really big thing, guys. It's important to learn how to do this. Put in the comments what you liked about this video and start commenting what you want to see in the next videos. Uh, I'm starting to get out of my AP classes and stuff, so I'm getting a little bit more time uh, to get more devoted on YouTube and, and putting stuff out there that is inspiring to you guys and inspiring for me. Um, and so, yeah, appreciate you guys watching. Thank you.